It is 9.32. Thanks for watching WCCO Mid-Morning. We've got Molly and uh, Kylie, and we've got a, a big second half hour coming up. Yeah, there I are saw cocktails here. And beef. There's just beef just sitting beef around. Just beef around. And so we hope you're hungry and thirsty <laughs> for the next 30 minutes of this show. Well, and you could definitely use, like, something to cool you down today. Yeah. Like a Slurpee. I don't know why that came to mind, but <laughs> that was the first thing that came to mind when All I thought right. of cooling down. Sure. But we do have a hot and humid day. You can see we also do have that green weather watcher. Not only is rain on the way, but we do have some strong thunderstorms, potentially even severe. So we're going to talk about the threat coming up. A proposal to ban the sale of menthol-related products in Minneapolis is getting a lot of attention. If this is passed, only tobacco shops would be allowed to sell them. City council chambers were packed during a public hearing yesterday. Supporters argue menthol targets young people, and they believe limiting their exposure will help young people never stop smoking. However, there is a lot of opposition to the proposal as well from smokers and from some business owners who say a big portion of revenue comes from tobacco. Potentially half of our business coming in the store may not come here anymore because we don't have what they want. City Council could vote on this as early as in their August meeting. If they approve it, it would go into effect immediately, but enforcement would not begin for another year. It's been an extremely busy wildfire season in the West. More than four and a half million acres have burned so far this year. That's up nearly 60% from last year. More wildfires broke out this weekend and are still burning. California is dealing with the most, and crews in the state have had to fight more than a dozen wildfires in the past few weeks. Montana also dealing with the fires. Evacuations are underway there after a wildfire destroyed dozens of homes and burned more than 220,000 acres. Well, I just checked the calendar in the Super Bowl in Minneapolis. This is less than 200 days away. Workers trying to get U.S. Bank Stadium ready for it and for the upcoming season. And so none of those panels fall and smack you in the head mm. if you're walking in the area. Workers began to repair some of the... Remember, some of those panels were leaking yep. uh, during snowstorms, uh, heavy winds. So they were working on the outside of the billion-dollar facility yesterday. But those panel problems have kind of been plaguing the stadium in recent months. Several tiles detached during a winter storm last year. Really focusing the work on the facade. That's this part of the northwest elevation of the stadium, which includes the prow. The goal here is that we will have a very stabilized, secure building that's permanent. The fixes have to be permanent to really protect the public, and I have full confidence that that is what is occurring right now, and, and that we'll get resolution here in the next few weeks. Work will take four weeks in some areas, up to 12 in others. The stadium is under warranty, so the general public will not have to pay for any of this extra work that is being done. State